a super away win. You must be really pleased. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, we we are very pleased because um, the energy, the intensity. Yeah. Um, I think uh, what we tried to do was control the game here, and uh, in the first half we we took the sting out of the game. And then, uh, but one thing we didn't allow them a second in their own half uh, on the ball, and we pressed the hell out of them. And we were relentless in what we did, and uh, that gave us the returns. Um, you know, uh, two of our goals are off, uh, you know, quick transitions and put it in the back of the net. So. But it could have been more than two. We were saying in commentary, you know, you had chances to make it three, four, five nil when you got yourself into a winning position. Yeah, yeah, we did, and uh, you know, keepers made some good saves, and Sam's hit the underside of the bar, and, and yeah. It was good. Overall, it was uh, really pleasing. Yeah, we said at the end that Kieran Roberts, it's, it's a mark of the success of the Cobbers defence, and he didn't have to have a big game today. OK, he did what he did uh, overly competently, but he was, again, well protected by the, the back four to make it three clean sheets in a row. Yeah, I looked at the uh, stats there, and it says one shot on target. I don't know where that come from. It probably uh, someone's just ticking a sheet and got it wrong, I think. Uh, you know, but... Uh, you know, we were brave all over in what we did today and, and how we did it. And, you know, to come here, a team that everyone's been raving about and um, really uh, not giving them an opportunity. Um, and you think, I, I think that's lessons learned from Hartlepool away as well. You know, for us, we didn't relent. We, we didn't, we, we condensed the play and we didn't give them any space, any room to move. And that was polar opposite to Hartlepool. And sometimes you need to go through those harsh lessons to learn as well. And we say we're a new group. We are a new group and we're learning all the time. I'm learning about the group. Or well, we are as a staff. And we're learning what they can do as well, what they really can stretch themselves to. And uh, this is a good day. It certainly was a good day. Um, OK, it was, a, it was a 2 0 win, it was, it was a, a super performance. We talked about learning lessons from previous matches. How much momentum did you take into today from those two home wins over the last week against uh, Mansfield and then Stevenage? How much was that a kind of, uh, a kind of confidence boost ahead of today's match? <coughs> yeah, I think you're spot on, Tim. I, I, you know, winning games of football does bring confidence, but winning them the right way, the way in which we've done them or, or, or got the wins, has been important to us and there's little things that add up to a lot but being consistent on those little things has really really made the difference for us at the moment. And let's talk about the goals. Uh, Kieran Tati got his first league goal on Tuesday. Super finish today to put you on the way to victory this afternoon. Super finish but again again the, the one at home against Mansfield where he hits the bar that's a replica copy and then he, he, he hits it down and great contact, but what a ball in by Mitch, yeah. Pinnock, what a ball, the assist Kings back again. Yeah, absolutely, that's four assists now in two games for Mitch Pinnock, isn't it? And the second goal, Trammy didn't seem too happy about the awarding of the penalty, but what's your take on that? Pretty clear okay. cut, didn't it, John? Okay. Yeah, it, it, you know, <laughs> you've, you've, to get a penalty away from home at any time, it, it's got to be a real stonewaller, and you tell me, yeah, was that not a stonewaller? I'm not worried about how they felt about it, that was a penalty. Yeah, the Tramir centre-back Clark was one of those who was uh, unhappy about that. He seemed quite unhappy about a lot of things this afternoon. He was into your face at half-time, John, trying to get into the coppers dug out at one point in the first half. That was fun, wasn't it? It was yeah. great fun. Loved it. You shook hands at the final whistle, but for a moment there in the first half, towards the end of the first half... Uh, no, I've got, massive, I've got massive respect for him. Uh, to, to play like he is, he's an absolute warrior. And uh, he's an ultimate professional. Um, very clever at what he does in the dark arts and stuff like that, but he had a young boy to run all over him today. Yeah, he certainly did. And uh, come on, John, you've been in this, this uh, management game at league level for a brief time. How highly does this afternoon rank alongside your other achievements with Northampton Town? How much pleasure and how much pride do you take from this result today? I, I probably take a lot more pride from the performance at a club that's um, previous year only, am I right in saying they've only conceded two at home? Yeah. Before today, So yeah. we've doubled that. And I take pride in the intensity, the work rate, the output the team's offering. That's what I take pride in. Um, irrespective, it may sound as funny, irrespective of the result today, just the way we were brave and, and didn't give them a moment. That's what I was really, really pleased with. 
and you're into the top three with this victory today. Uh, how important is that now to be in one of the automatic promotion places? I know it's fairly early days of the season, there's <coughs> 14 games of the campaign gone, but... Yeah, look, you, you want to be up there and the more points you can put on the board early doors, uh, it, it bodes well for later on, you know, you're, you're running. But look, we're not looking at that, we just, we're, we've got certain targets every few games. We, we have certain targets and we've, uh, we've again just reached a target we want to be at. And yeah. uh, we just keep chipping away at these mini targets we've got. Can you just explain a bit more about that when you say you've reached a target? Uh, just elaborate upon that, please. Uh, yeah, we break the season down into certain segments and little segments, and they've got to, and it, it's not about looking at opposition or anything like that. It, it's just a, uh, a, a segment of games that we, and then we have to get a certain number of points that we're, uh, we're, we're on target. Yeah, good stuff. And then three home games now in a row, starting with Carlisle next Saturday. Off the back of this performance today and the two previous home wins, that should guarantee a, a big crowd of six fields. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I'm really pleased with all the, the crowd away from home today. They, you know, look, the, the, the noise they bring, the drove us on, was brilliant. We, we appreciate it. It's a hell of a long way and we just appreciate it. And we, you know, we're so pleased that we can give that performance back to them today. Yeah, and a nice moment. You went along with the players to the end. They were now looking at your way and here with the Cobblers fans were and you kind of put your put your hands down in front of you in a crying, praying motion, presumably to thank them for their support. Massively, massively. And, you know, look, just at the end, uh, uh, to have that performance, it was just, that was great, great. Another good moment to share with the fans and all the players to come over and, um, and enjoy that moment for their hard work. Just a final one. You talked about reaching targets, but you've come here to Tramway today and won convincingly. Are you in any way having to readjust your own ambitions for the season, your own goals for the season as, a, as manager of the club? We stay on track with what we do, um, but obviously, Tim, let's not get carried away because this league can change as we've, we've felt one minute we're, we're down, next minute we're in a good moment. <coughs> and, and look, this is, this is this league, you know, you, you have to be consistent, consistently very good at what, what we do and what we believe in and uh, we can't come off that but the only thing because there's so many games in this league you know there'll still be ups and downs so we've got to we're going to be prepared to come back from those moments but look today's a good moment so you don't get too high with the highs you don't get too low with the lows <laughs> enjoy it for five or ten yeah. minutes today <laughs> that's about it good stuff well done today john thanks, thanks boys